see we have an intrauterine pregnancy, and there's a gestational sac right there. So at this point in time, what you want to do is probably zoom it up a little bit. So we want to be able to go here. And we want to just we bring that whole area right up into play. Okay. You can see good cardiac activity. Yeah, look at that already. That's too nice. Okay. Ooh, look at that. See a yolk sac? Mm -hmm. See the heartbeat? We have Rachel, and we just started to do a transvaginal ultrasound on her eight-week baby. Uh, we just finished doing abdominally. She didn't empty her bladder completely, but um, we're going to go ahead and deal with it. Um, what happens sometimes when the bladder isn't empty completely, you get these artifacts that actually interferes with our image. But... Again, what we've gone in, and we have the transvaginal ultrasound with the uterus, gestational sac, and here's the baby, here's the yolk sac. So Ken and I, Ken, I want you to go ahead and let's work on optimizing this picture together. What I would do here at this point, I would just go to my eye zoom, okay, and then bring everything. It brings everything right into. Oh, that's nice. So you see, still see the yolk sac. You get a nice. A uh, little crown rump mm -hmm. ability there. Okay, and then to take this off, I hit menu. You hit menu, and that, that eliminates that. Okay, so mm -hmm. we have our focal zone right mm -hmm. at the baby. That's good. And here's the beginning formation of the placenta, the gestational sac. Mm -hmm. Here's the baby. Now, if I wanted to even just make the baby a little bigger, can I mm -hmm. just... Bring in my depth a little yep. bit. Oh, so too we can do come down here to, to uh, and we can change our oh yeah let's, seven point five. Okay, she's changing the frequency. I'm changing the frequencies to be able to optimize the imaging. Oh, as so well. we're at eight and a half. We're at eight now. and a half megahertz, so that's the, the highest resolution that you're going to be able to. Okay, and then there's eight heart with um, harmonics on as well. You know, go back. Let's see the different images we have. Okay. I like that better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's go down to the next step. I want to choose okay. to get my highest resolution. That's well, 7, 5. That's 7, 5, and here's 8. 8.5. I like megahertz. 8 better, and that's okay. the higher. Good. That's the higher resolution for the higher frequency for better resolution. Perfect. And now mm -hmm. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more using my zoom. Again, mm -hmm. I didn't lose. You don't lose anything. I don't either. lose resolution. You're not all blowing out of pixels. You don't expand the pixels. You just take the image and enlarge it. So, you get good cardiac activity here. So let's go ahead and put this little heartbeat through and hit update. You get nice MO tracing wow, there. very nice. So we'll go ahead and measure that. And skip a beat. Mm -hmm. And this one, if we get that, and yeah, you're just, yeah, right. there you go. perfect. So we'll just save one, and then mm -hmm. just go ahead and hit B, get back to the regular image. There you go. And then I'm going to take it off Zoom, and I'm going to, look at the baby move. Did you see that? It just started to move this week. Did you know that, Rachel? Now look at, look at real carefully. He only moves a little bit during the exam, every like every 10 minutes, but it's little flutters. Next week, he'll be moving all over the place. Look at that. All right, I want to play. Now you can take a still image of that if you want. There you go. Hit, hit freeze. And oh, look at him move. Did you movement. see the movement? Now you can freeze, freeze that and save that, and then I'll save that little clip. Good. And I'm going to take this. Yes. And I'm going to hit zoom. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get a crown rump and measure. Confirm what we have. So we measure from the top of the head. Behind the little rump. Mm -hmm. Eight weeks, five days. Somew